And now, the national anthem of Myanmar. Between Singapore in red and Myanmar, and you're catching the action live right here on Channel 5. Well, this is a very wet condition for a very critical game. Two teams knowing full well that they have to exert themselves. A quick look at the Singapore lineup. There's no sign of uh, Alexander Durich for today. So uh, in comes No Alam Shah. Durich, of course, is rested with a calf injury and he's on the bench tonight. And uh, all eyes, of course, will be on the defense partnership of Bayaki Kaizan alongside with uh, Pressures. Uh, let's just forget for a short while about who we're going to meet in the semi-finals, but put a step inside there and settle first or second place with Indonesia in the final match because the statistics don't will favor Singapore in the sense that uh, the Myanmaris were running circles against the Indonesians in the last game, whereas Singapore had an easier time. So fitness-wise, it might favor Singapore with their taller players up front. A beautiful across there. This is No Alam Shah. Yes, we're talking about how a dangerous player he is. The smallest chances he will he will definitely convert. That's no Alam Shah catching everybody by surprise with a quick opening goal for Singapore. Oh, but usually when a commentator says that the team is best with its aerial duties, they would let you down. That time though, Singapore did the otherwise, and it was no Alam Shah who scored the final goal in the last game, who scored the first in this. And how about this for some poor marking? Look at Alam Shah, he's just doing nothing. Nothing there, nothing there, just one run forward, and he got free from his marker. That is criminal in the penalty box. You can't do that. If you're gonna follow your marker, you gotta be either in front of him or side by side sticking with him. You can't give him two or three inches in front of you, and someone with the predatory instincts of no Alam Shah will kill you, and he did that. Opportunities to build that confidence up. Alam Shah, some space to work on. A little too casual there, trying to pick up Agu. Lima on the break. Three against three now. No truck runs off the ball, and you have a player that's free. But first, the delivery has to be good. Delivery from Chia Yi now. Looking for support. Well, headed away there. This is Agu. Some space work on Agu. What a goal from Agu Kashmir. Goal number two for Singapore and goal number three for Agu in this tournament. If there's any player in the Singapore team in this first 15 minutes that deserves a goal and all its plaudits and the applause from Radia Abramovich, but it, it has to be Agu Kashmir. The number 11 has been in scintillating form at the moment. And that was him picking things up. I did say that delivery had to be good and Myanmar would be in trouble. It was very good from Su Chiai. They did clear it, but could only get it as far as Agu. And look at the marking. It was pretty poor because he had all the time in the world to set himself up, wait for the bound to suit him right. But the finish was superb. That was a poisonous shot. Get anywhere near it, you'd break something. Agu broke the back of the net. Singapore are in cruise control. Mowin. Liu Tan falling deep now. Looking for option. This is Viet Min now. Fires Yang Peng. Yang Peng on the goal. Yang Peng scores. <laughs> Myanmar has found a goal back against Singapore. That's Miu Min Tun. It's a scorer. Good break there for Myanmar, of course. So Miet Min with a nice flick on. As you watch this again. That's the danger, Bernard. And who it was again? No Rafman. It's his man. I said earlier on, he's giving away and he hasn't been paying attention. He hasn't been alert throughout this match. And once again, that left midfielder, Mo Mien Tun, finds a way past No Rafman. By Haki Kaizan tries to rescue the situation. He doesn't have the pace to catch up with it. But what a cool finish because he could have easily. Looking to release Ridwan Mohamed now. Some space to work on for the Singapore right winger. Finds Agu. So the possession and what a save from keeper on one goal. That's a world class save. What a save it was. This time a connection was great from John Wilkinson. Much better than his earlier efforts. Took a slight deflection which makes the save even more remarkable. Brilliant save by Ongu. This is Mintu now. Gets himself into some space there. No Rafman. Teaming up with Ridwan. Gives the ball away again cheaply. Myanmar on the break right now. This is a good opportunity there for Myanmar. 
Win 10 trying to This is Min Toon now. The goal scorer for Myanmar. Finds Myo Tan. Sends it long. A lot of Lewis. Punches clear. And finds Malwin. Min Toon. Good ball for Min Toon. This is Yang Pei right now. Put clear there, Yang Pei. So much space to work on. He would have preferred it on his right foot. Might have even opened his body up for a curler around Lionel Lewis, but instinctively he just took the shot at goal, which is what a good centre forward should do. It goes wide at the end, but once again, Singapore are having questions asked at them about their defensive capabilities, and all the problems have been caused by the left winger, Mio Min Toon, who draws two defenders away. Bannon with the cross, again coming in, and put three there, Ridwan Mohamed. Mustafik finds Nor Rahman. Cross coming in from Nor Rahman. And uh, Agu Kashmir came out of nowhere. Just failed to keep it on target there for Agu. Brilliant effort. Early cross in. You know you've got two strikers there against three defenders. Hit them. Hit them with it because the Myanmar defenders just don't have the height to cope with the Singapore front two. Agu Kashmir, as much as I've been saying how brilliant he's been doing, has really got to hit the target this time around. I know he's under pressure. Much better defending that time around by the number 13, Win Ong. But still, you've got to hit the target. Win 10. Vietmin is offside. So Vietmin thought he had the equalizing goal for Myanmar. That was clear offside as well. As it last came off of Myanmar head. There we go. Clear offside from Vietmin. Then dangerous from Daniel Bennett because his centre backs had moved up. He should have followed them up. Stood up and been counted for in this match. Through and time and again, he's been beaten far too easily down that Myanmar left hand side. Su Chai now operating on the right for Singapore. Well, Morwin gives away a free kick. The referee is not pleased with the challenge. It was an elbow thrown as shown by the referee. Free kick quickly taken and uh, Joe Wilkinson right now. This is Agu Kashmir. Does it stand? Will the Myanmar is will be complaining to the referee. Oh, that's a challenge. An attack on the referee. This is getting into a very, very controversial scene here that we have seen before about the Myanmar players. Volatile, easily provoked. The players are obviously extremely upset with the referee for allowing the free kick to be taken very quickly. And the match officials are on the field as well. We've seen this before, Bernard, haven't we? The last time we saw Myanmar lose their heads was guess guess against Singapore in that semi-final in 2004 where the players surrounded the referee, pushed the referee, started throwing bottles at the Singapore players. And it's all turned ugly yet again, only because Ong Ong Wu wasn't too happy with the referee saying that you could take the free kick early. The rules are that you can take the free kick early as long as you get the permission from the official. And Bin Dung probably had the call to say, yes, I can take the free kick early. And he went on with it. The Myanmar players had to be a little bit more alert, but they were busy just complaining to him about the free kick being given away. And because of that, the players weren't alert in defending. Su Tiai stayed on the ground. The Singapore players decided to play the free kick without Su Tiai. There's nothing wrong in that whatsoever. The Myanmar players, as you can see from here, there we go. He had the permission from the referee. He played it early on. Ong Ong Wu watched it. He was watching it all the way. So he had no arguments against the referee then. He can't go up and push the referee in any case whatsoever. And he had no arguments because he was alert to the situation. He prevented Johnny Wilkinson from scoring in the first place. And as you go, Ong Ong Wu attacking the referee there. This will be an interesting decision if the referee will have to send Ong Ong Wu off. Yes, he has. Well, even if you do it to a fellow professional, a fellow player, that might have been a red card. But to do it to the referee and to do it to the authorities, that is disgraceful. It might mean Myanmar getting out of the competition. The last time it happened against Singapore, they, had, they faced a long, long ban. And it might happen again. The Myanmarese players are a little bit more mature this time around. They should know better. But I guess it's the Myanmarese temperament that's taken into play yet again.
and once again it happened against the Singapore side unbelievable scenes well history repeating itself again not just once twice but three times if we call mark Myanmar of course staged the big protest against Singapore in the 2005 finals or rather 20 um could be a 2006 final 2004 finals I, I beg your pardon and of course remember the last finals against Thailand there was a major decision call as well it's at the right. national stadium at the walkout before the penalty kicks Indra is trying to come on Long down they know each other the players around this region no Alam Shah who took the free kick the Myanmar players are telling him why did you take the free kick early well <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that should be his answer. Ong Ong U will be sent off, and that is the right decision by the referee. But uh, it's disgraceful scenes. We set it up at the start, the last time these two sides played. The disgraceful incidents that happened here in Singapore at the National Stadium. We said it was the same weather conditions. We didn't know it's a different referee altogether, of course, but we didn't know it's going to happen all over again. And Din Dong, I think, made a very brave call. He allowed the free kick to be taken quickly. It is a little walkout here by the Myanmar players. The coach, Falopa, has got to calm them down a little bit now. He's got to need the help of all his uh, officials to talk to the Myanmar players, but he's got to calm them down. There's nothing wrong with taking the free kick early. There you go. He's saying, look, go out. Go get involved. Radhi Abramovich, I don't know why it always happens to a Singapore <laughs> side. <laughs> I guess everybody wants to beat them. And uh, when a decision goes against them, they think it's uh, officials favoring the defending champions are the favorites but as i said bernard there is nothing wrong with the free kick whatsoever john wilkinson was onside after the free kick had been taken it was given permission by the referee they tried to surround the ball to make sure that tomorrow i'm sure took a longer time to take it but if you're surrounding the ball it means that you're alert to the situation you know that a pass you have a free part of goal the goalkeeper the defender and then when it came back to Abu kasper there was a defender on the line trying to defend it as we have a look at it. They were arguing about this decision, which was the right decision. It was a free kick. Sutiai went down, and as he was riding on the ground, Bernard, they kept arguing with the referee about that decision. So, what is the decision now? Are they upset with the free kick being given away, or were they upset with the free kick being taken early? Both sides are losing fights, losing accounts, because the referee made a correct decision on both counts. Well, the players are finally cooled down and. Marching back onto the field, the Myanmar players. And it seems that the game will continue. Player number 10, Sue Myat Min, replaced by number 22, Kyo Zin Ten. Well, Myat Min, the captain, has made way for the keeper, Kyo Zin Ted, who has had him just raging on the sidelines. And there you go, referee Dong Din Dong has blown for the final whistle. A man involved in all the controversy. Agu, of course, celebrated with two goals for Singapore. And Noalam Shah's opening goal made it three against Myanmar. Min, Amyo Min Tun, 3-1. But of course, a lot will be spoken on that special, or rather the controversial moment. And I think that the referee did everything right for that controversial moment. He allowed the game to stand. It'll be good as well for the referee. I mean, you have to be lauded by the referee. He's getting sarcastic applause from the Myanmar players. But the AFC have to look at the referee, Pong Din Dung. And as much as we criticize referees for their performance, we have to give credit where it's due. It takes a very brave referee. Good night from the Galora Bankano Stadium in Jakarta, Indonesia. This has been the AFF Suzuki Cup 2008 on Channel 5.